Hey, Jack. Hey, how y'all doing? Psych niggas, stop playing. Y'all already know what time it is. Two Sway Crew. Hey, Jack. What's goody? It's your boy. Back in it again with another one. It's your boy. As you guys can see, today we are going to be playing. Some more of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Guys, continuing the let's play on the series. Last episode, we fought Raker. No, we didn't fight. Yep, yeah, no, that was episode 7 we fought Raker. A piece of Raker. Last episode, we fought some more of the Converted. Gamora asked me to trust her. And going to fight Raker. All on her own. And I trusted her. She appreciated the fact that I trusted her, but she was disappointed in herself because she only cut his arm off. If you ask me, that's a pretty big step. She took one of the man's arms and, you know, Rock is still holding a grudge. Group feel like we should, you know, get back cool. But Rock is being a big baby as Rocky does, you know. That's just normal rocket activity. We gon' Peter and Rocky both definitely probably gonna be back cool by the end of this let's play. I hope I would hope so. Because Rocky is being real petty right now. But you guys, you know, for everyone that is new here, I just wanna ask you guys. Well, not even new people. Before the video starts, guys, let me know down below how you guys are feeling about the Let's play so far. Let me know how you guys are feeling about the Guardians Let's Play. Let me know, like, you know, if you guys mess with Guardians yourself, if you guys are playing it, if you guys have played it, but don't spoil it for me because, you know, I am playing it myself. And, guys, without further ado, man, let's get into this video. On me. <laughs> Continuing the let's play, guys. Part nine in the series. Sounds like murder mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey, better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. Harsh. Excuse me. I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins, right, Drax? Yes. Well, I did talk to everybody in the last episode, so, you know, I ain't really trying to take up too much time by talking to everybody again. So, let me go ahead and shoot, move this shoot. out the way. Move over. Come on, move, Space Lone. We oh, got work no. to be done. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship. <laughs> shoot, flock off. Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. I feel like it ain't gonna matter though, like, you know. If I don't talk to everybody, I don't think I'm a. How about you, bud? We just gonna talk to everybody okay? again, y'all. Are you sure? I yeah, maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am good. Because I want to go talk to Gamora again. I just want everybody to be on level head type thing before we go to our next mission. And where did Drax just go? He was just sitting right here on the couch. Hey, Rocket. Let's see what we can make with the parts you've got. Do I still have my things that I? Yeah, you I still got You don't pay me enough, Quill. So that's what I was saying. Like, I don't really think it's gonna One matter. One whole arm. That's what? Ten percent of Raker down? And I say we leave the other ninety percent alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again.
What? Hold on, guys. Give me a second. I gotta, I gotta check something real quick. Alrighty, ladies and gents, I am back. Okay, so check this out. What I'm gonna go do is I'm going to go in, um, um, Drax's room to see if he's in there. This is Rocket's room. This is my room. This is my room, right? Yep, this is my room. Peter, we need to. Gamora. Hey. Is that. Corral's Galactic War commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until. No one could have predicted that Corel was dead. Or Damn. that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh, I've become my dad. You wanna practice on me? Answering her questions? Corel never told me about Nikki. She had a chance to tell me three years ago, and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. I can't promise that. I love judging people. Wow. <laughs> Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid. Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he disagreed. So I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Look, after the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers, and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki. And she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. What was I supposed to say? Hey kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean, it was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. It was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so... Badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corral I remember. <laughs> I tried to convince Yanyu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying. So I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No. We didn't. And now... Now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. <sighs> anyway, until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. But when you are ready to talk about it, just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. I was gonna do that anyway.
Hello. Hold on. My camera lagging? I am good. It kinda is, but I think it's cool now. Okay. Hopefully it's cool. Um I was gonna do that anyway though. Like as far as being honest with Nikki going and stuff like that. And then she went back down here, didn't it? Yup. This drag's wrong. wrong. We have to go back. Sure, we're heroes. Hey Drax. You okay? Drax? You want some chicken soup? Always helps when I'm down. I know you're in there. Just tell me you're okay. I am fine. Leave me be. Hey there. I'm gonna keep messing with him to see if he'll open the door. Come on, dude. Drag. Go away! Okay, now after that one, I'm gonna leave him alone. We just got out the shower. Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Manual brushing is where it's at. Let me knock one more time. Hey there. Okay, never mind. It's gonna be the same thing. He gonna scream, go away again. Um, I think I'll talk to everyone except Drax. But I'm gonna go talk to Gamora again. An asteroid, huh? Huh. Hey, go away, Peter. Come earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, oh, oh. who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat. Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... <laughs> Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. warrior. Well, I am the warrior. warrior, and heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> See, just singing. All right, I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Exo about Riker. Raycor. Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. Dang And that's all I did. Dang! He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and slurped up promises. Making everybody think. We can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise? Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. Hold on, guys. Okay, I'm back, you I'm guys. I'm working on that. Just try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Watch it, Peter. You could fall on my sword if you're not careful. I can't wait to get out of here. Hey, dude. How are you feeling? Busy. It's okay. It's just the two of us in here. We all saw a pretty messed up scut in that promise thing. I'm fine, Quill. There ain't nothing some Cree kid can promise that won't make my skin crawl. Okay. But what did you see? Doesn't matter. I knew it was fake soon as she got into my head. I'm still mainly stuck on the fact that Corell is dead now. Like... Was not expecting that one, honestly. I honestly thought her and Peter was going to get back together. Somebody makes the right call and gets us out of the way of those church idiots. 
It ain't cowardice, it's common sense. Wait, are you siding with Green Team on this? I thought her and Peter was gonna get back together and everything was gonna be cool. And you know, she was gonna scratch. Sorry, she was gonna scratch they dick and all that, but it wasn't the case. Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy, where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's paws being tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. It's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Net. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? Kermit yeah. Frappe from McDonald's. These things are so busted. And we're getting shot at. Nice. Is this like a hellbender? No. Breaker. Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defy Captain the Lady Hellbenders. Huh? Oh. Good. And who the flark are you? Normally. I would not engage in conversation with inferior. Who the hell is Captain Glory? I've never heard of these. My dude. contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. Lethal Legion? A uh, Lethal Legion? Uh, more like Loser Legion. <laughs> you surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard. Pause. Sorry for pausing so much, guys, but you know, let's play. We gonna do it. We gonna pause. We gonna, you know, I'm a. So this is somebody that Lady Hellbender had, you know, come get us for her? Cause it's how the Blood Brothers worked and that didn't work out too good. So, you know, we gonna just, we finna find out though. It's so called. Guardians of the Galaxy, prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Probably. <sighs> we got this problem. Do I gotta fly again? Well, yep, look like I'm play. Hit them hard and give no quarter. Oh, 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 this is Milano gameplay. Oh! These ships ain't dying fast enough. That's a fixable problem. I'm messing with this. Drop out and get a better angle if it gets too hot. That was a Milano gameplay in the game? Right at him and charge. For these guys, it doesn't matter. Ooh, I'm a he lock. Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounty hunter provided. Never heard of him. Wait! <laughs> Wait! Can't we just send an IOU to Lady H? I ain't paying that psycho a single unit. So, what's up with Lady H and having all these peoples? Uh, 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 try to come get us. You know this, I ain't gonna come get us. Just keep watching. These guys have really bad timing. Starting to wish I'd stayed in dog jail. Lady H crazy, her dang on self for thinking that these punks are gonna. We the freaking guardians of the game. One people named Rain left. Woo! <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. 
What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. Whoa. So you defeated my fighters, but my cruiser will crush you. No, sir. I am brute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's oh. I'm sure it's very comfortable. I want to be locked. Then do something about it. You get us killed, Quill. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, give me a second, Rocky. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second, bro. Give me a second, bro. Lady Skull Suit is the worst flark in timing. Is she here? Just her goons. This time. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Yeah, he. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. You think our strategy won't work, bro? Captain Glory, more like Starting Captain. Feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. Loser pants. Right. Protect our ports. This guy's starting to sound like Rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. Yeah, we felt it. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. You won't survive. Oh, 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 yeah, I don't think these scrap sacks care if the galaxy's under siege. <laughs> what is really that loud? Just kill them already! There's an art to this! He's killing us up, Quill. That was a bad hit. Yeah, I see that, Rocky. I see. Give me a second. Bang bong. Why? 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 They can't be getting paid too much because Lady A trying, you know. No, you don't. Why? What little? I ain't gonna lie, Lady H wealth is is AF, so she might be giving them a good. I don't know how much these creeps are getting paid for killing us. She might be paying them a little decent song. Boy. Stain just shot us. Bang bong, do a little flip. Mm -hmm. That was a lucky shot. Peter. Okay, hold on. Cause the way that I gotta do this, I gotta do it like this. I gotta flip this shit back around. Peter. All right, now look up. So now you're above. Cheap. Bang bong. I am Larry. Bye bye, Glory. You suck. You're trash. You were trash anyway. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's Mine. just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it. Apparently, she know where to send niggas because they most definitely know where we at. So, she gotta know where she's sending her people. Yep. Old girl needs to I mean, to she gotta know where we at. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my. Wow, talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open a channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. I am Groot. Time to leave. Power supplies are low. Need access to facilities. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. <clears throat> In the 
Associate Docking Commission, <coughs> please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I know, bud. But now we can all follow along with Star Pants' mistakes. How may we assist you? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not oh, every. Flark you! We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Centurion Corel's personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled, and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. I am Groot. I am Groot. Groot wants you to pick World Mind. Scroll down! Scroll down! Scroll back up! Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Who even cares? Corbin Day is missing in action and unable to respond. Heard of him. He was in the Resistance. So much for near perfect algorithms, helpline. Hey, Woolberry, got any ideas? Ugh, I hate bureaucracy. Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Nova Prime's identity is confidential, and communication with them is so we gotta join the corps? until further notice. Huh. Doesn't say which one. Why even list them then? This menu again? Congratulations on your decision to join the corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Star Lord. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Oh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Please state your celestial body or artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Yeah, maybe it won't work. <laughs> Not look today. Look at this, Scott. It's hilarious. Finally, in a few words, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, boys. Alright, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? No, actually. How about I actually don't have any other ideas. Great idea! We should tell them about the promise. Connecting to banking services. Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No, no, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. Cannot be saved, Peter Quill. Damn. What? A mass delusion known as the promise. Is sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less Are you under the promise you too? It has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They. Actually, the world mine is a collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. 
And you better not call me in it. Look, we just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. How are you still alive? Well, because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The, the point is, we've lived things. Experience things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zendarian culture is a lost cause! Culture is more than a location. But you're Novacor's leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That, that is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The, the risk, risk is too great. It, it would be a pointless, pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons, the church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can not adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That is why they fail. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand and you're running away from. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We, we do, do not experience emotion, emotion therefore, therefore we cannot, cannot be afraid. Why are you running then? Our primary directive is the preservation yeah, of- Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a class G super intelligence. Bro, Not Peter different. laying the law down on these. We you recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional state is not our primary concern. We did we not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock. The Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished. We're gonna meet somebody new, Adam Warlock. Who the fuck is that? I have no idea. We are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. This episode feels like more of the galaxy. Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. Shit, that's the police in general, no help. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. My fuck them, we ain't finna pay no fine. Screw this. Cancel payment. Peter, what? It's not like Novacore is gonna come after us. They're leaving. Exactly. 
They're leaving. That was our only chance to get this disabler off the Milano. We can't escape the church with a locked ship. Who cares? By the time it activates, we'll already either be converted or dead. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. We gonna give Lady Hellbender her money back. Well, well, I see it. <sighs> Son of a schmack. Is that her? Oh, no, this Riker. You are accepting the promise. We gotta jump, Quill. I know. Matrix's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! What did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Are you good? Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed guys, anyway. Guys, 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 guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care. Just fix it. Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. Damn, man. They all going through it. I need some rest. Damn, bro. They all going through it. What is this? Do I move, Peter? Or? Oh, I do. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Look, come on, y'all. Y'all, y'all gonna get through it. Come on. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. I'm not gonna cap. If she don't want to talk, I'm pretty sure ain't nobody gonna want to talk. So I'm not even gonna waste my time trying to talk to them. I'm just gonna go in my room and get some sleep. So. Yeah. Why does he keep picking it up? Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> That's how you got in? Ugh. Screw it. <sighs> of 
I feel like you're about to dream about his mom again. And the bed smells. Great. And I can't hear it. Oh my god. We have a ship. This is our room? Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you? Me. Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah. He was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh. <sighs> I can't do the glasses for this one. Root wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait. How do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Yes, your ship. Come Can y'all just come to agree and say our ship? I'm tired of hearing yeah, my ship this, my go. ship this. Is this a dream? Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough. What? Nikki? I knew it. You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... He dreaming. me. Nikki! Guys, don't let it get to you! Won't have to tell me twice! Rude bastard! Nobody hurts! It's most definitely a dragon. It's too fast, Peter! Gamora! We cannot outrun the beast, Peter Quill! Keep going, Drax! Honor my death! Drax! Anybody? We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. No! This is all wrong! Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? Take that, you ugly monster thing! Peter Quill. Peter Quill. Desperate times. Peter Quill. Peter Quill, wake up. Hmm. Uh, Drax. We talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, it's another dream. Yeah, it's another right, dream. Uh, we just need to have faith. It's another dream. Chapter 10, test of faith. Get away from me! <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Cree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Cree. That's, that's what her race is, faith. baby. With the matrix Kree's. promise, our family I don't know what the heck a Cree is, but I, you know. Drax, I don't... 
You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly. But, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need... Bro, it's a dream. Time. It's another dream. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's going to be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and rock it. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I, I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait, Drax. We can talk about this. Great. Not this man just locked me in my own room. Will, you there? Please tell me you're not dead. Will? Oh, I'm here, Rocket. Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? <laughs> I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The Llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? Point is, maybe it's a way to get out. If I can just... Squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! How did that thing climb all the way up here? Okay, I'm out. Any sign of tracks? Not yet. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? Why? Because I, Flarkin, told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh, no. Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait. Are you happy Cammy chewed a hole through the wall or not? <laughs> no. But also maybe. If it means we get out of this. This man got mixed emotions. Alright, so hold on. What do I go to reset everything? Ugh. So, guess who gets done? There we go. Rec room. What are we flocking waiting for? We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakan Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. 
Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine, I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. Bro, I feel like we're so close to the end of this game. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Chapter 9 is more so... Um... Freaking... Cutscene than gameplay, honestly. I think that's gonna wrap it up, though, for today's episode. Alright, YouTube. That is going to wrap it up for part 9 of Guardians of the Galaxy. Guys, I really feel like there's... We close. I feel like we really close to the end by us being in chapter 10 now. Like I said, I think there's 13 chapters and I did say that I want to at least have this let's play done within a 12 to... Within a... I think I said... 12 to 15 part series i'm pretty sure we're gonna be done within the 12 to 15 parts more than likely 12 but you guys if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like leave a comment and if you guys are new here subscribe so that way you can know to be notified all the time when i'm dropping these banger list plays my bad you gotta hit that bell too though hit that bell so that way you'll be notified when I'm dropping these banger list plays. And you guys, let me know in the comments how y'all feeling about the Guardian series. And I'm freaking loving it. I'm happy that I feel like they all on the final chord. But I don't know. We towards the end. So they might all still be on the final chord. They might, you know, rock it and Peter might fall out again. I hope that's not the case. I actually hope they are cool now. We finna go... <laughs> Kidnap Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. Man. Um. Yeah, I'm surprised to see that Drax has been converted. And the whole reason why he has been converted, I know, is because he misses people. So, you know, you can't really knock him for that. But, anywho, guys, thank you all for tuning in to the Let's Play. You guys, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're new here, subscribe and hit that bell. Leave a like. <laughs> I'm sorry I keep being repetitive, but, you know, I love you all. Thank you, Two Swag Crew. If you're new, come join the Two Swag Crew. It's the, we the littest crew on YouTube in the gaming community, let me say it. Um, but, you guys, I appreciate everyone, and I thank you all. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, I am tripping. I'm tripping, tripping, tripping. Good morning. Good evening. Good night. Wherever you're watching this video from in the world. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.